Hello, world. Welcome, I am your host Mr. Stag. Today we will be taking a deep dive into the life story of Aliko Dongote and his company Dongote Group. Aliko Dongote is a Nigerian business magnate. He is the chairman and CEO of Dongote Group, an industrial conglomerate and the wealthiest person in Africa, with an estimated net worth of 13.6 billion US dollars as of January 2022. Aliko Dongote's journey to fortune is not a rags to riches story. He came from a wealthy family that was able to provide the financial assistance he needed to start his business. Over the years, Dongote has expanded into new business segments, including telecommunications, real estate, and steel manufacturing. Aliko Dongote, an ethnic Hausa Muslim from Kano, Kano State, was born on 10 April 1957 into a wealthy Nigerian Muslim family, the son of Mohamed Dongote and Maria Sanusi Dantata, the daughter of Sanusi Dantata. He is the great-grandson of Olhassan Dantata, the richest West African at the time of his death in 1955. Dantata became Dongote's guardian in 1965 after the death of his father. Born by rich parents at BBG in 1877, Alhaji Olhassan Dantata, began his cola nuts and ground nuts trading in northern Nigeria. He was a supplier to British trading companies. He built the Kano ground nut pyramids and dealt in cola nuts. Olhassan's only records of education were a Quranic school, madrasa, but controlled businesses across Lagos, Ibadan, Accra, Kumasi, and Sekondi. When the then Bank of British West Africa, which is now the present-day First Bank of Nigeria PLC opened their first branch in Kano Dantata was the first Nigerian man to deposit there. He deposited 20 camel, loads of silver coins made from his businesses, including his 60 groundnut pyramids. Each pyramid had 15,000 filled bags. Dongote was educated at the Sheikh Ali Kumasi Madrasa, followed by Capital High School, Kano. On his early life, he has said, I can remember when I was in primary school, I would go and buy cartons of sweets, candy, and I would start selling them just to make money. I was so interested in business, even at that time. In 1978, he graduated from the government college, Bernin Kudu. He received a bachelor's degree in business studies and administration from Al-Azhar University, Cairo, considered one of Islam's most prestigious universities. It was there the budding entrepreneur furthered his education in business. Shortly after graduating from college at 21, Don Gote borrowed $3,000 from his uncle to import and sell agricultural commodities in Nigeria, his native country. His business venture quickly became a success, and as a result, he managed to repay the entire loan within three months of starting operations. Ultimately, Don Gote was able to turn a local commodities trading business into a multi-billion dollar corporation. Two of his main imports were ice from Thailand and sugar from Brazil. He then sold those items in small quantities to consumers in his village at a lucrative markup. The venture quickly became successful and turned into a cash cow. In an interview with Forbes, Don Gote claims that on his best days, he was realizing a daily net profit of $10,000. In 1997, Don Gote realized that acting as a middleman was a very costly endeavor, so he built a plant to produce what he had been importing and selling for the previous 20 years, pasta, sugar, salt, and flour. Around the same time, Don Gote was awarded a state-owned cement company. Don Gote significantly expanded the operations of the company in 2005 by constructing a multi-million dollar manufacturing plant. The construction was financed with $319 million of Don Gote's own money in addition to a $479 million loan from the International Finance Corporation, a sister organization of the World Bank. Don Gote has always reinvested the majority of his profits back into his businesses, one reason the company has grown so much since its inception. During an interview with Al Jazeera News, Aliko Don Gote explained, We, Don Gote Group, are not doing like other Africans who keep most of their money in the bank. We do not keep money in the bank. We fully invest whatever we have and we keep on investing. Unlike many wealthy Nigerians who made their fortune in oil, 
Don Gote initially chose to go down a different path, but he has since entered the oil and gas industry. In an effort to put some of his cash reserves to work, Don Gote is working on a massive oil refinery in Lagos, which is projected to start operations in late 2021. If successful, it could significantly reduce Nigeria's reliance on international suppliers for oil and gas and end the import of $7 billion in fuel a year. The $15 billion refinery in Nigeria is the largest industrial project ever in Nigeria and is expected to produce 650,000 barrels of oil per day. The Dongote Group today, it is one of the largest conglomerates in Africa with many of its operations in Benin, Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, and Togo. Dongote has expanded to cover food processing, cement manufacturing, and freight. The Dongote Group also dominates the sugar market in Nigeria and is a major supplier to the country's soft drink companies, breweries, and confectioners. The Dongote Group has moved from being a trading company to be the largest industrial group in Nigeria including Dongote Sugar Refinery, Dongote Cement, and Dongote Flour. In Nigeria today, Dongote Group with its dominance in the sugar market and refinery business is the main supplier controlling about 70% of the market. It is the largest refinery in Africa and the third largest in the world, producing 800,000 tons of sugar annually. Dongote Group owns salt factories and flour mills and is a major importer of rice, fish, pasta, cement, and fertilizer. The company exports cotton, cashew nuts, cocoa, sesame seeds, and ginger to several countries. It also has major investments in real estate, banking, transport, textiles, oil, and gas. The company employs more than 11,000 people and is the largest industrial conglomerate in West Africa. Dongote has diversified into telecommunications and has started building 14,000 kilometers of fiber optic cables to supply the whole of Nigeria. As a result, Dongote was honored in January 2009 as the leading provider of employment in the Nigerian construction industry. Dongote lives in Lagos, Nigeria. He has been married and divorced twice. He has three daughters, Maria, Halima, Fatima, and one adopted son Abdurrahman Fassassi. In 2014, the Nigerian government said Dongote had donated 150 million naira to halt the spread of Ebola. In March 2020, he donated 200 million naira towards the fight against the spread of COVID-19 in Nigeria. For the tenth time in a row, Aliko Dongote was named the richest man in Africa in 2021. The business empire he began to build more than three decades ago, Dongote Group, is one of the largest private sector employers in Nigeria as well as the most valuable conglomerate in West Africa. Today his holding company, Dongote Group, is the largest conglomerate in West Africa. His title as richest man in Africa seems to be one he'll hold for years to come. Tell us what you think about Aliko Dongote and the future of the Dongote Group in the comment section below. Mr. Stag logging off.